Ah, shit, this is it. Another episode of Attack of the Beats. This is Mr. Fade, illmusic.com. Here we go again with another episode. Now, for those that know me, you know I've been quite busy the past while. That's why I haven't done any episodes, but I'm here, ready to knock these out. Uh, We've got six tracks, six beats this week. I'm going to check them out. And actually, uh, I'm quite behind here. I've got... Something like 10, 12, 12 beats or something, and I still got that people sent in. I've got like all these episodes to do, man. You guys are working me to death, man. Anyway, so we'll get on to uh, the first beat right away without wasting any time. Uh, so, okay, so first up, it's A the Great with Gutta. Let's check it out. heard from a the great with gutta all right now this beat uh starts off with the synth it's, it sounds kind of dirty-ish right i hear a bit of crackle or something like that uh and uh i'm like okay it's gonna be good it's gonna be good then the drums come in i'm like okay there's a head nod we got something here and uh, I'm, I'm really feeling this beat i really like it it's uh you know the drums are a little you know they're coming in and out uh changing up and stuff but that's good i like that it's different um, actually, I think the only thing that I had a problem with with this beat was with the main the main synth that you had. Uh, it just comes in and comes out very abruptly. Like I would have lo- loved to have heard, you know, like a better transition, right? Just kind of like faded in and out or whatever, uh, do some kind of delay or whatever. Um, instead, of just cutting it right off and going to the next part because that's the thing. Like it kind of sounded like um, the beat kind of sounded like it was just kind of pieced together. You know what I mean? Like you worked on this segment, then you worked on this segment, and you just put them together. So that's why they just cut off and whatever, you know. So maybe you did do it like that. I don't know, but uh, it does sound good though. I like it. It's uh, I like it because it's different. Um, I, you know, at first I was gonna say this is something I could see an MC on top of, but then I was like, no, actually this should be more like an instrument, just an instrumental, um, an interlude. If it was on someone's album, let's say, just be some kind of interlude with some talking or something, something like that over it. But, um, yeah, other than that, uh, other than that, uh, yeah, it's just a synth, really. Um, I like the rest of it. Good job. Thumbs up. All right. So next up, we have, I can't pronounce this. Sion? I don't know. Sion will lose yourself. Let's check it out.
So that was Sion with Lose Yourself. Now this beat's kind of like the previous one. It's um, it's good. I like it. It's just that, uh, again, you know, like it's the transition. Uh, the, when the the drums stop, I can hear a click. You know, like a little a uh, little bit of a pop or something like that. And uh, to me, like I mean, you know, you should be able to hear that. That should be taken off somehow. You should just get rid of that shit. Uh, but the the um, the other thing is the drums. Um, since you're using the 808 so much. You gotta watch the levels because right away, as soon as the the with the 808, as soon as the kick came in, then the snare, the snare is like really loud. You know, uh, I mean, I hate that when I heard some tracks, they sound good, I like it, uh, but then the snare is just so hard, it's like you're blinking. You know, like <laughs> he's like, I got my headphones on, so when I hear this, you know, the snare just smacks him like, ow, 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 ow. So that's one of those things. So actually, the drums I would just change. I would just get rid of those drums. Um, just find uh, the patterns okay it's just I would just find new drum sounds um, and the 808 I mean I'm not a big fan of using the 808 so much but I mean I understand for this track it works well um, so you know use it like I said just watch the levels because I find the whole track all together it's the levels you gotta watch that shit um, but I like the way it's all put together I like the instruments strings piano all that shit that's it man it's the drums many of the drums many of the drums all right, so next up, uh, Mr. Il Deville with Paranoia. Let's check it out. That was Il Deville with Paranoia. Okay, so for this one, um, I don't really have many complaints, or much, or any complaint at all, really. Uh, I love this beat. It's good. It's dope. Uh, you know, the first thing that I liked was the fact that the drums were not, like, right in my face, okay? They weren't. They were just laying in the cut, just chilling there in the mix. I liked it. Um, and the mix itself, I, I really like, because I like the way you, you, you use the space. You know, you got everything pan the right spots nothing like not everything is just dead center um and then around what the one minute mark or something like that you brought in the synth so that was a nice little touch because you know it wasn't so repetitive whatever um yeah i mean no complaints really except for uh the main synth um sample like the main the main sample uh when you take out the drums right you, you can hear the sample like when it comes in and out abruptly right I mean, I've been there, right? I mean, you get those samples where it sounds okay when you get the drums playing over it, you know, because the drums are going to mask it. But, you know, you can you can hear it. You know, you can hear it when it just, the attack and the, uh, uh, comes in so so fast, you know, so. But uh, that's it, man. But, you know, 
That's the only complaint, really. Other than that, good job, man. Dope beat. Love it. All right, next up, we have Neo Prophet with Boomerang. Let's check it out. All right, all right. So that was uh, Neo Prophet with Boomerang. Now, okay, for this beat, you know, like I've said in the past, I can't tell if you guys are new, if you're vets, what kind of equipment you're using, software, I don't know. But um, with this beat, you know, it's a classic example of um, somebody just not using the proper sounds. Um, I like the beat. I do. I like this beat. It's just that. Um, I, like I find, you know, you know what you're doing. You got the vision and everything. You know where to put everything. You know how to chop everything. But the problem is that it's the it's the samples, the sounds that you're using. If you use the proper ones, the beats will be super dope. Because you got the the horn in there, and you got you know a nice little pattern going with the horn. It's just the horn doesn't sound good. Then you get the low end. The low end's there. It just doesn't sound good. You know what I mean? So then then you get the the uh, the, the main sample coming in and out, and that too. It doesn't sound good. But if you get the good sounds, get the good stuff, but you gotta dig for that shit. You get the good stuff, it'll sound good. I mean when I was first when I first started out, it's like I was putting beats together like that. I was just, you know, throwing whatever together. And I had the patterns, I knew what I was doing. It's just that my sounds and my samples, they just sucked. So just get that shit right and it'll be dope. Trust me. So next up. Uh, we got the last beat. It's uh, Prophecy with Dopeness. Now, I'll see if it's dope or not. Let's check it out.
All right, all right, and we're back. And that was the last beat for this week. Uh, Prophecy with Dopeness. Okay, so this beat, you know, I mean, the, the intro was a little long for me, uh, but, you know, I didn't know what to expect from it. I was like, okay, what kind of beat is this going to be? It's a little eerie. A little, I don't know. I don't know. And then, boom, it drops in. And I was loving it, man. Feeling it. It is dope. It's dopeness. I like it. Uh, the only complaint I would have, really, is the fact that, um, you know, I mean, this is the type of beat I could easily see an MC on top of, right? I mean, you got the nice drums there. You got your, your bass and that guitar coming in and stuff. Um, I think it'd be perfect for an MC. I just think that after, what was it, about, after maybe eight bars or something like that, you would have taken out the main sample and just leave the low end, you know, and the drums there, just the guitar and the drums, just have that looping throughout for another eight or 16 bars or whatever, and just leave that open. I like to hear it like that, you know, and just have the other, like everything you just had here in this beat, that should be just for the hook. And then just, you know, take the other shit away and just have the guitar and all that stuff. Uh, that's it, really. Because as soon as I heard the beat, I was like, this is perfect for some kind of rapper. You know, perfect for that shit. So that's about it. There's only complaint, really. Other than that, it's dope. Feeling the beat, man. Loving it. And I like those drums. Nice and gutter. I like that shit. All right. So that's it for this week. Uh, I'm about to pick uh, my favorite of the week here. So uh, with that being said... Drum roll, please. The winner is Ildeville with Paranoia. Let's check it out. (laughs) 